Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my Cardinals Gun Split Slot series. Um, I've put out a lot of videos throughout the course of the year out of the Cardinals. I also put out some really glitchy plays out of the Gun Slot offset when the gate when the Madden 20 just started. Um, I'll try to have a link in the description for some of those plays. They're still really good. Uh, ultimately, this entire playbook is just, it's got a lot of trickery plays. It's got a lot of really great college offense type of plays. And it's really one of the better playbooks in the game. I'm hoping to get more in depth with it next year, Madden 21, as well as some of the other college playbooks that should be coming into the game, like the Carolina Panthers with Matt Rule and Joe Brady. I think that's going to be an awesome playbook. Hopefully EA doesn't doesn't let us down. I feel like this, this playbook is going to be a large portion of what Carolina's playbook is next year because this is officially like the college playbook so if you like these type of plays if you like these type of uh you know open wide open running gun type of plays this is going to be a really good uh series for you so let's go and let's get into the plays like i said i already put out some run plays i'll put a link in the description for that that was a really explosive series uh of ex you know explosive run plays all over the field make sure you check that out if you didn't see that uh, but other than that, I'm going to go out and I'm going to show some pass plays today. Now, if you watch my gameplays, you've seen me run some of these plays. More specifically, the 689 hook and the uh, the slip screen. Those are really the exact same idea, the exact same concept. It's just sometimes I want better blocking uh, because the, slits, the slip screen, you can't actually make adjustments. You can only do the motion that I'm going to show you. I'm going to start off with these plays. This is a concept that I've been using for a couple Maddens now. Uh, I feel like they kind of patched its effectiveness a little bit. But if you motion out the running back with the table route here, a lot of times he's going to get open a lot of defenses for some really good catch and runs. You can see right here. That's really what it's all about. It's just a steal 10, 15 yards in the flats, turn up and get as big a play possible. Now, if it's a man coverage that won't have any effectiveness, I find that typically if I'm running, if I run this against a man, I'm probably going to want to put the B route here on a drag just to give myself a check down. But ultimately, it's all about the flats as I get a bad pass. But you can see he's open in the flats. That's the whole point. Steal that in the flats. You can do that most of the game uh, and your opponent will have to either use that or change their defensive round to pick up on it uh, right here as you can see I mean, he, he gets behind the coverage the coverage is just too slow so I find that your opponent typically won't chase this motion because it's still within the, you know, if they're if they're using the center of the field with a with a middle linebacker, they typically will only chase if, if if it's like a streak or something. If it's something coming over the middle, then they'll make that adjustment. But ultimately, they won't chase a flat. They won't chase a table route, which really works in your favor because a lot of these zones don't really cover these table routes really well either. So like I said, just kind of waiting for it to get out of the flats. You can see how everything just kind of drops back, and you're stealing 10 to 15 yards relatively easily you're going to want to do that most of the game and if your opponent starts picking up on that that's when some of the other plays i'm going to show you're going to come in handy because they have the same motion the slip screen is just you know if you got the user paying attention to this route once they see that motion they're thinking that's where the play is going it's going to the flats that's typically when it's a good time to hit them the other side because the user will chase that out now i'm not a huge screen player uh you can see right there i got tackled i don't find that screens are traditionally um very consistent i feel like a lot of times uh, the user, for one thing, can blow it up pretty easily if they if they see it coming. Which, like I said, this this play is typically meant to throw them off so that they're chasing the flat. But ultimately, the screen plays. I mean, the blocking just sometimes doesn't set up. I mean, there's so many things that could go wrong with screen plays. But the the big win here is a lot of times you'll get the user off their spot, and that's really what makes this play uh, dynamic. Now, if they don't chase that. You're not, I mean, there's a lot of times where you're stuck in a scenario, like right here, look at that. There's two linemen that just don't even block. Like I said, slip, slip screens can really be kind of iffy. So it's all the things you're seeing, which is why I don't really run a lot of slip screens. But ultimately, if the Y route doesn't work out, a lot of times the RB route will still get open fast enough that you still have a really reliable check down, which a lot of screen plays don't really have. So to me, I don't run a lot of screen plays because you pretty much only have the running back half the time or the play's dead, you're getting sacked, whatever. But if you run this play, you at least have a really reliable check down, really reliable outlet, which is the RB route. But ultimately, like I said, I mean, I'm just not a huge fan of screens. They don't always set up like they should, like they did right here. I get a pretty good result. Uh, but, you know, it's just a good play to mix in. So those are definitely the first two plays of this passing series uh, that I probably use most consistently to set up the rest of the plays. Now, as far as the rest of the plays go, there's a very good play that utilizes the same motion and that's the PA flood now this defense this plays a little bit more specific to cover two but if you notice your opponent running cover twos this is going to be really explosive let's go and let's pick a cover two 
So once again, we're going to utilize the same motion, only this time we're just going to put them on a streak. A little bit of trickery. It's going to look the exact same to your opponent. They're going to be expecting a flat or whatever, but ultimately it's not going to matter because if they do try to cover that flat, the RB route is going to be a home run right over the top. Uh, which a lot of times, I mean, if people are using, they might drop back on, but there's another route that also home runs this. So if you have an opponent that's Johnny on the spot, um, they cover this streak a little bit better. I mean, you can do a couple things. Sometimes I'll just put them on a regular uh, drag route. Once again, just give them something to look at. And then you can also streak Fitzgerald here and your B route is going to get open for a home run against cover two the same way. Now this here, you can see he just runs right past it. I don't really get the best throw. I probably want to run this play nine times out of ten a little bit further to the uh, to the to the boundary uh, because you can see how this route arches to the outside. Pass leading is kind of important here, so you want to make sure you're, you're giving yourself as much space to the to the open side of the field as possible. Um, you don't even have to make an adjustment. You can leave Drake on that table route. That's fine. But ultimately, um, you know, like I said, you can run this a multitude of ways. If you want to focus on that B route, you want to remove the user element, you can do that just by motioning out Drake, putting them whatever route you want, just so that the user's paying attention to that. And then the B route here is going to be really explosive to the outside. Now here, once again, like I said, I'm just getting a little bit too far to the outside. You might have to, to safe catch that more often than not, but it's still a really good play. And then, like I said, I mean, to me, the RB route is just as good over the middle. But like I said, that can be user. This B route will not be user you can see right here but we're just running past this guy obviously I have a pretty good speed guy out there but you still shouldn't be being covered too like this so going to the replay i made a video talking about how um how these cover two cornerbacks have a tendency to try to push uh these receivers in towards the safeties and this is another route variation that doesn't do that I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here on the other side, you can see he gets bumped inside of the safety. Uh, and the route he's running is a completely different route. It's not a streak. But that's what these cornerbacks are supposed to do now to make cover two a better defense. And on this particular play, on this side, even though it's basically just a streak, he doesn't even touch him. He just lets him run right past him at a full sprint. And that's why I get an easy home run touchdown by about uh, close to five yards to the near safety. But you can see, I mean, if you're if you're making this play and you're getting 40 yards on it, even though it's not a touchdown, you're not going to be mad about it. And then you can see right here, like I said, if I just get a little bit of a better throw, it's just stealing. It's just lofting it up to your speed receiver and bombing it over the defense. Another really good dink and dunk play that steals underneath a lot of coverages that I like to use is the PAF slide. Um, this is something that, once again, I'm just running against random. I uh, definitely want to be back towards the center of the field, but ultimately, this is something that, you know, I'm just basically dinking and dunking on the running backs. To me, I'm really only making two reads when I run a play like this. It's going to be the RB route and then the comeback route. Uh, the RB route, like I said, look at the spacing. I mean, they, he's running it behind the line of scrimmage, so the coverage doesn't typically come down until it's too late, and you can get outside and get, once again, 5, 10 extra yards uh, on a catch and run. Uh, my second favorite route would definitely be the comeback. Like I said, I'm always going to take this if it's there, but you can see sometimes if it's like a hard flat, they can take that away. There's not a lot of defenses that cover these comeback routes really well man coverage is off coverage and stuff like that typically fail cover threes cover fours so to me it's really just about those two plays if you want to have this type of play on both sides you just have to put the b route in a comeback you have to cancel the play action so that the quarterback doesn't roll out like he's been doing uh, but you can see i mean i could really do that all all day and your opponent can't they can't use it both sides of the field it's going to be a pretty pretty uh, tough catch 22 uh, which is why i run a play like this so often so right here we get out of the flats like i said i look like an all-out blitz or double safety blitz or something but you can see i mean it's pretty much always open either the comeback route or the running back in the backfield. So I was gonna let's do this one more time. Like I said, I could try to hit to the Y route real quick. Like I said, I mean, how, how, how is your opponent gonna cover this? The, there is a route over the center of the field. If they do abandon it, you could always uh, try to hit that route, but typically your opponent's going to be on that route. So it's something that, you know, you don't, I wouldn't do unless your opponent's starting to get desperate and really trying to cover these outside routes. But there's definitely a good route over the middle of the field. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys wanna see more videos out of the Cardinals playbook, uh, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Waste it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.